All right. You all know that I took out all my hay, my hay bales for my backstop, target backstop. So I went to go get some. Actually, I was going to go buy some straw. And it's like $8 a bale. And I looked into buying straw, uh, hay again. It turned out to be $2 higher. And this is hay season. So, I had an old piece of carpet that I was saving to redo my other target. So I'm going to try just putting it here, just draping across the 2x12 and see if it'll stop an arrow. Keep it from passing on through. That way when my wife and other people are shooting at my deer or my other targets, that their arrows aren't going all the way through and getting lost back here in the brush. Let's go give that a try. Let's give this a couple shots like this. Then if it works, I'm going to take you, take the camera down, leave it while I shoot at it and we can see what it does. I'm pretty sure it's going to work, but not 100%. I'm only standing about roughly 17, 18 yards away from the target. And I'm going to miss the deer. A little, cl little clairvoyance there. Don't think it worked. I'm shocked. It did work. So if it's working with a 55 pound recurve, it ought to work with the other bows that I've got and my wife has. So take you down. It's actually going through the first layer and stopping in the second. I'm just making sure the first one wasn't a fluke. Okay. It's actually poking through quite a bit on the other side, but at least I ain't looking for them in the brush. So if you're looking to make a backstop, that'll work. The carpet didn't cost me a thing. I picked it up on a trash day, spring cleanup. Somebody had it out and I thought I'd repurpose it. Saved it from going to the dump for a little while. It works.
Yeah, like I said, I'm shooting my 55 pound Grizzly recurve and it hits hard. But if it's only barely going through two layers with uh, 12 inches of air in between, it'll stop the other, boat, other arrows when other people miss. And I miss. Like I've told you before, I'm not perfect. I do miss. But this is for my wife and other people that come by and shoot. That way we're not having to search for arrows back there in that brush. And I hate to have somebody get snake bit. That's all I got for you. I thought I'd share a stupid idea with you. Ever since I found out that straw and hay is that expensive this year. Because it takes about eight bales of hay and straw to fill that. And the cost I've got into it now just uh, manual labor. Picking up the old carpet and bringing it home. Keep the arrows flying. Have fun. Be safe at it.